So to summarize, uh, we cover quite a lot. In reflection to uh, the perceptional fields of the uh, awareness of being stuck in a lower uh, state of awareness, we can comprehend that it's only a point of attention which can be influenced by our surroundings. So when we are surrounded by uh, reflections of, uh, could be pain, suffering, neglect, insecurities, uh, and in general, just suffering, we can start to understand that we are just reflections of our surroundings. And with, with the change of surroundings and bringing love and, um, and more of a, a, a sense of happiness into our surroundings and bringing a higher sense of, uh, when I say higher sense, I mean, when we can change our surroundings, we can, we can reflect uh, within ourselves in a different way. And through this reflection, we can bring a different uh, awareness into our uh, into our point of attention. If we can think that in this present moment, we are just a point of attention, whatever has our uh, uh, focus, our uh, uh, you could say whatever has our attention, we essentially are. So this is why we in life we are so massively uh you could say influenced by our surroundings because the surroundings are persuading our uh, lives within our point of attention anyway i'm getting off subject through to uh so from um from that then we can understand that once we can raise out of the the lower fields of energy which we can attach to negative worry stress fear and we can start to manifest into more of a a happier present moment we can start to understand that the fear the stress the worry was just holding us back it was always reflecting within our minds that it's it's our destiny. It's our reality. It's our, it's our, it's our choice. You know, it's our choice that we're negative. It's our choice that we're, but we're, it's only a choice because it was our reflection of our experiences up until this present moment. You know, once we can start to comprehend that this present moment is only a calculation of our past experiences and it's the truth, which is within this present moment, which we can reflect against within ourselves. We can understand, you know, what's serving us, what's 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 helping us, what's gaining, and if there's nothing, then that's a good sign that it's time for a shift within our state of awareness. You know, doing something that we would never have done before. You know, shifting to a a a, a sense of uh, change, a sense of you know, and it all generates from the heart, you know, just one spark is all it takes to generate the a point of attention within that spark, that then any infinite uh, truth can be enlightened within that spark, you know, that infinite spark is infinity within infinity. So that's all essentially we need is just one spark to bring a sense of change, truth, enlightenment, and, um, and ultimately, um, the inner joy, which we are all seeking, you know, we are all seeking internal joy because the joy is essentially the, uh, the cosmic calculation of uh, the connection between life itself and, and love itself is joy. It's the mutual combination which we share within existence as we said as above as below the existence between channeling as above and below is is joy internal joy will always exist and has always existed